So today is um, the fast of Gedalia. It's on the third day of Tishrei, uh, um, in the Jewish calendar, that is, the day after Rosh Hashanah. So we feasted for two days on Rosh Hashanah, and the tradition is to fast uh, from the morning to night, till tonight at 7.17 p.m., uh, for the fast of Gedalia. And to explain to you very quickly, I'm going to read from Chaim Potok's history book, Wanderings. The fast of Gedalia basically is part of the Babylonian destruction of the first temple. It's something that happens at the very end after that destruction. And this is what Chaim Potok writes in Wanderings. The population of Judah had numbered about 200,000 people. In all, about 20,000 were left in Judah after the 586 BCE deportation. Thousands had previously fled to Ammon, Moab, Edom, Egypt, Tyre, Sidon, Asia Minor. No mention is made of the sacred ark, which had been in the temple since the days of Solomon. The humiliation of its loss may have been so painful it could not be shaped into words. We never hear of it again. Jeremiah was permitted by the Babylonians to remain behind. The Babylonians appointed Gedaliah, son of Achikam, and grandson of Shaphan the scribe, to be governor in Mitzpah over what remained of Judah. Mitzpah was the small town near Jerusalem where Saul had once been acclaimed king. Gedaliah was a leader of the moderate faction that had sought peace with Babylonia. And sometime after his appointment, he was assassinated by Ishmael, son of Netanya, a zealot who probably regarded him as a traitor. And that's the source of the fast of Gedaliah, when the moderate Gedalia was assassinated by the zealot, uh, 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 by the zealot Yishmael, and that brought an end to Jewish presence in Judah. After that, for fear of Babylonian retaliation, many of the Jews who lived there, those that were left, left Judah for good. And that is something about today's fast of Gedaliah.